Alright guys, just a quick video. That right there is the extra nozzle you get on an FX5. And I did some uh, pipe fitting. This is just like hose you would use for a pond. Uh, I'm not even sure it's 5 8 pond hose. But anyway, uh, I, I plug it into the uh, shut the valves off there, unhook the one on the right, the outtake, hook this hose in, open the valves up and pump it out of the tank at 900 gallons an hour. And uh, just to show you what's going on, these hoses, this is just how I do it. Got a half bath right here. And uh, this hose, this, I just put it down into the toilet. So this is my Aquion. And uh, of course when it's going, this way, water's coming down and it's going out the hose. And then that's going straight into my tank. And then what you do, everybody asks me about this, but what I do is I treat this tank with prime for, uh, I put three caps full, 150 worth, even though it's really not even 120 gallons if you keep Counting all the gravel and substrate and whatever, I just I'm just trying to be safe. But uh, anyway, but that's what's going on there. And uh, we've got some really good gloss of stigma runners that I could probably put down here to seed this, although it's doing very well. I don't really have any algae issues, even though I'm running the lights for a really long time. Uh, the siesta thing seems to be working pretty well. And uh, oh, the other thing. Let these little sprigs grow out. And then I just go and get credit for them and I exchange that credit for uh, a big bottle of Prime. And here's something that really shocked me. Hidden, hidden in all this mess here. Look at this. My favorite plant. Guess what that is? That is duckweed. Something I said I would never have. Can't even believe it got in here. It snuck in on something. Because I would never pay for it. But anyway, uh, just doing a quick video. That's how the water changes work. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I like this new scape. It's definitely low maintenance. One thing I did do is I trimmed this down a little bit and then I cut the runners off to keep it from eating into here because I want the glossostigma to have a chance here. Uh, the hair grass is kind of doing good. I don't see any algae on it. Uh, my fish are stu still doing well, and uh, I've been watching that baby discus, and it's been eating. Oh, I can't believe I have some of these. There's no way that would be there if I had rainbows. They would pop it in a heartbeat. But uh, with the baby discus that I have in here is doing very well, and I'm watching it start to eat uh, blood worms, which is exciting. And... Uh, Matter of fact, last time I saw it, it's hiding here. So anyway, hey, happy Monday. You guys, thanks for watching. Try to do short, quick videos, but uh, that's just a quick update. And I got to do a water change. Later.